Welcome back to How to Grow as a Christian with Reverend Jimmy Ray. Praise God. Praise God. Good to be back and with Daniel, the new Christian here today. I'm so excited to lead you even deeper into a relationship with Christ Jesus. Oh, absolutely. Well, take it away. What am I going to learn this time? Well, last two episodes, the first time we talked, you got saved, got born again in Christ Jesus. You became a Christian. Yeah, that's when Jesus came into my heart. Jesus came into that heart. He's living there by faith in your heart. Yeah. Now, next episode, we talked about prayer. The importance of talking to your heavenly daddy in the sky and having a relationship with God. Why? Well, I, I haven't stopped praying since the last episode. I'm proud of you, Daniel. You're doing wonderful. But you know what? There's another step. Before we talk about Bible study, we'll do that some other time, if that's okay with you. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Good, because I know what I'm talking about. I'm chosen of God. Yeah. I'm a man of God. You're a child of God. And i got to help you. Now, the next step would be being filled with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues like you did in the Bible in Acts chapter 2. The Holy Ghost fell on them after they were saved and water baptized. Dog, God dang, I forgot. we got to talk about water baptism too. We'll get you in the water and baptize you pretty soon. But it doesn't have to come in that order. You're already a Christian. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. I want you to be filled with the Holy Ghost and power, meaning you can go out and do everything Jesus did in the Bible. You can lay hands on sick. They'll get recovered. You can say to mountains, be thou removed, they'll obey you. And you can heal all manner of sickness like they did in the Bible. But you got to have the Holy Ghost. Wow. How do I get the Holy Ghost? I'm going to lay hands on you and pray. And you're just going to let the Holy Ghost fall on you. And... He'll take it from there. He'll take control of you, but he'll probably take control of the tongue. Oh, 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 oh the tongue. And that's what speaking in tongues is. So you're going to be manifesting an outward manifestation of an inward work of the Holy Ghost. It's a beautiful thing. You're going to feel powerful and joyful, and you can do anything through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. Are you ready to try? Yeah, I'm ready. Show oh, me. Show oh, me. glory to God. So i got to get prayed up in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on you, and you're going to stand out of my God, out of my God, like that. Okay. Okay? Just let it flow. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Here we go. This I did in the Bible. In the name of Jesus, Daniel, receive the Holy Ghost now. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, That's it. Come on. I'm a lover. I'm a dude. 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 i am the way to interpret it, you got to be in the congregation. I think it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 14 that there are people that speak in tongues and then someone else will interpret it. But I didn't get the interpretation because I was learning you how to speak in tongues. But maybe some other time we can do it. You want to try it now? Yeah, yeah. I want to know what I said. Let's try it again. In the okay. name of Jesus. Speaking tongues. <laughs> The Lord will say unto thee, and all the viewers out there, Repent, for my return is coming soon. My redemption draweth nigh. Humble thyself unto me, saith the Lord. Well, that must be true, that because wasn't. I wasn't I wasn't saying that. Say, I interpreted by the Holy Ghost, unction the Holy Spirit, what you just said. God spoke to you, then to me, and I had to interpret what God said. It may sound confusing, but oh, it's so glorious. Daniel, welcome to the Holy Ghost family. Thank you, Reverend. Oh, I'm so excited. Keep praying in tongues every day. And you viewers out there, ask the Holy Ghost to fill you so you can speak in tongues and be filled with power. Keep watching, and we're going to learn more about how to grow as a Christian.